Hi Capricorn, right here. I already sprayed myself. I just do it again for camera's sake. I'm going to do a quick reading, so I hope you guys are well. We're going to see what the cards have to say today. And go from there. First card is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. This could be you guys getting some sort of tangible gift. Um, this could be some sort of offer coming to you. This could be a job offer. This could be a raise. So just a guidance for I have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and looking at it, it's like things moving, uh, someone moving away. But I have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles has to do with someone that's grounded and slow moving and patient. And I feel like for this, it may be spirit guiding some of you to take time and have patience um, this could be you guys wanting to give to someone or offer somebody something but this could be also in regards to you guys being offered something a job a gift some sort of offer And what it makes me think is somebody's really possibly offering something to you of value because we are pent we are definitely a pentacles driven sign. But I feel like this is kind of like telling you, Capricorn, to take your time and be patient and know not to rush. No, definitely not to rush. Why is my camera? Okay, sorry. I'm like, this is off. I feel lopsided. Thank you. <laughs> um, but this could be telling you to take your time and to stay grounded. And, and what just popped into my mind is too good to be true. If you feel like something's too good to be true, then do not rush into it. Take your time. And I have the two of wands. This is somebody that's making plans. This to me is somebody that wants to see what else is out there and it could be saying to take your time and stay grounded and don't move too fast and also see what other what other things are out there for you hmm. some of you might be looking to travel or planning to travel and actually maybe travel is the reason why you may be considering this because it may give you the opportunity to travel Ooh, I have the king of pentacles This is somebody very grounded. This is somebody that makes wise decisions. This is somebody that makes sure that their security and their stability is not in, uh, impacted negatively. This is also put a person that's very big on loyalty. I feel like this is a person full of passion. Um, I think this is the energy that you guys need to be in, making sure that whatever decision you make, it does. it's not something that could potentially impact your stability um, and security. And that could be financial security. Ooh, look at that, the Ten of Cups. That's why you don't want it to affect your financial security and your stability, because you guys are looking to settle down. Some of you may actually be with someone and it's turning into the Ten of Cups, but for others of you, the reason that you don't want to take risks is because you're looking to settle down and you're trying to make sure that you have that stability. Mm. Ooh. Yes. You don't want to have to deal with heartbreak again. You don't want to have to deal with the Three of Swords. You've already been there and done that. You don't have time for that no more. Your eyes, you know what these two, your eyes came out, your eyes came out. <laughs> Sorry. You've already been through this. Your eyes are focused on the prize. Like you know that you want to meet someone and settle down. 
Oh my God. I feel like some of you are, I feel like some of you are starting to live your lives, your lives as if you have what you already want. And if my air conditioner turns on, I'm sorry, it's hot in here. But I feel like some of you are single and you're realizing being single is good and all, but when that person comes, you want to be ready. You don't want to be used to staying out late and partying like a rock star and all kinds of uh, things like that. And then all of a sudden have to abruptly try to give up a certain way of living. And I feel like a lot of you, um, I know I, I'm, and it's funny that this came out because I know I'm trying to do that too. It's just not so easy. I'm so used to just dealing with myself. But I feel like a lot of you are starting to live your lives like you already are with somebody. Um, like that person is already there. That way, when they actually come, it's just about inviting them in the door. You don't have to make major adjustments because you are already preparing for this person to come into your life. I feel that the reason you're doing this is because you have higher standards. You have higher standards. You know what is important to you. You know what you no longer want. You've already experienced it in the past. You know what red flags to look out for. You know when somebody's trying to get over on you at this time. You feel it. You listen to your intuition more than you have in the past. Um, you're making wishes. You're, you're focused on the dreams and desires that you have. This is the star card. This is about you trusting the universe, believing in the possibilities, being really optimistic. I feel that some of you are writing affirmations. Just trying to think very positive, although it can be very challenging at times, and I know it can be challenging at times. Um, and you're trying to embrace this new person that you've developed into because you've grown so much Capricorn and I feel that your growth has made some people very uncomfortable very uncomfortable and for those of you that have no responsibilities other than yourself I feel like there may be resentment towards you from people that do have responsibilities but you've taken care of your things and you chose not to have any more responsibilities. So now you're getting your life organized and together. And for those of you that are parents, single parents and things like that, you guys are getting your lives together too. Um, you just have your children that you have to consider in your decision. So for you, it may not be so easy to make this transition because you have little ones that you're responsible for as well. But Capricorn, you definitely wanna make sure you're no longer in the Eight of Swords energy ever again or I should say never in the Eight of Swords energy. And I think that you're going to know when you start feeling like this, you probably need to check yourself and see what it is about you at the moment or what it is about the relationship or situation that you're in that has you in your head and in a mental prison. Because when you meet someone, and even before you meet someone, there may be situations that have you kind of in your head. You have to figure out why. Ooh. Manifesting. The magician card. A lot of you are manifesting. You have the tools to manifest whatever it is that you want. For some of you, it's like one minute you're being positive, and the next minute you're talking yourself out of whatever it is that you were just positive about. You have to listen to your self-talk and make sure that you're positive. And that has to do with the checking yourself because you're in a mental prison. Part of that mental prison, Capricorn, is because we can be the most positive person, but at the same time, we can talk ourselves out of the positivity and out of success. So you have to make sure that you're not practicing negative self-talk, be mindful and know that you can manifest whatever it is that you want, whether it's good or bad. So that's why you have to really pay attention. Oh, wow. So, oh, man, this fell on my lap first. So I have the Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. When I see this, I, I can, I sometimes, 
I see it as something that could be romantic. Even though the lovers didn't come out, I have it as something that could be romantic because it's full of passion. But I have that this is something that you could be doing that is bringing you, um, that you're able to put a lot of passion into. And you might have to do that because for some of you, this is gonna kind of keep you kind of keep you occupied so that you're not so worried about where is my person where is this person at well this person is coming and they're going to come when the universe thinks it's time not when you think it's time so you may you may end up meeting somebody because of something that you have passion for something that you're pursuing so if there's something that you want to pursue by all means go ahead and pursue it and then i have the hierophant card the hierophant the Hierophant has to do with, it can do with your spirituality, your morals and values. It can be a marriage card. Mm, 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 mm. But when I see this card, I feel like you guys are elevating. I feel like this person is not coming just yet because you have some more elevating to do. And for some of you, Capricorn, it's going to be very spiritual. Oh, wow. It is because some of you guys are still in hermit mode. You're choosing to stay in hermit mode because you know that there are answers that you need and that you can only get them from within yourself. And then I have the full card. This is a reminder that you have to be ready to take that leap of faith when that person comes. Be ready to take a leap of faith when that person comes. Two more cards, Spirit. Just two more cards. Ooh, Spirit said, no, ma'am, you get four. Mm. Oh, wow. I get five. I saw this. So we're going to leave it with these. Mm. So you have to be willing to take a leap of faith. You have to be willing to take a leap of faith, Capricorn. Pay attention to the red flags. Know when toxic energy is there. Know your toxic energies as far as being codependent or overly giving, because we do that. Do not obsess over whoever this person is. Allow them to meet you halfway. And if, if they're doing the bare minimum all the time, that's saying something. If somebody is doing the bare minimum for you, they are letting you know that you're not worth doing everything for. And so with that being said, that is a sign or a signal that you need to back off. I think Capricorns are learning how to detach easier now. You got to make sure you're always nurturing yourself. And know that people may come to you and want your energy because you are a nurturer, not just because you're marriage material. People can know your marriage material and not want to marry you because they're too busy having fun. But they will take what you offer and what you give. And if you allow them, they will use you. So this is to be mindful of this type of energy. Not saying that the next person is going to be that way, but I'm talking to multiple people at one time. So this is you being able to manifest people know that you're able to manifest some new energy may come in knowing that you're able to manifest and like what you can bring and offer to them so be sure that if you're being nurturing to this person that this person is being nurturing to you no matter what happens be sure to continually nurture yourself know when to walk away with the eight of cups when something is emotionally unfulfilling don't stay thinking you can fix somebody it's not your job your job is to skedaddle and move on when somebody's not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated, Capricorn. Because remember, you are so worthy and deserving of love, honor, respect, kindness, reciprocity, the truth. Just something to think about. And then I have Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about not just planning but taking action make sure that you when you get involved with someone that they're not just talking 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 about their plans so many of you and even myself got involved with individuals and this is not just for capricorn this is anybody meet somebody they're 
their mouth game is great. They say all the right things that we want to hear or they think that we want to hear. But when it comes to action, they're just stuck in cement, not doing anything. And then when you bring it up, they turn the tables sometimes. Um, so this is about you making sure that a person's actions match their words and that their efforts match your efforts. This will be justice. And justice will also be you moving away from anybody that doesn't have good intentions for you. That will be justice. That will be karma for you. If you take the necessary steps. And then for some of the individuals, justice or karma is going to be you rejecting them because they're not treating you the way that you deserve because they have not grown. And it is not your responsibility to help somebody grow. We all have our paths. We all have our timing of when we are meant to learn things. I can't tell you to learn something in my timing because I don't know your journey. I'm just here to be a friendly guide or um, a channel in a sense to put things out there and it's up to you to take it and it's up to you to do what you will and it's up to you to read between the lines of what I'm saying here but this is going to be justice this is going to be justice for you because you've grown so much and you know how to stand up for yourself now if you've been watching my channel and I know I'm not the same all the time and my readings are not always positive, I'm reading what's in the cards and sometimes the story is not the best. If you need to reverse the roles, feel free to do so. But know to take what fits, know what's yours and what is, and everything that a tarot, say, a, a tarot reader says is not necessarily gospel. It's up to you to take it how you choose. But I feel like with this, there's good coming to you, but it's also a message to be very mindful of who and what you allow into your life and to be sure to put yourself first and have those boundaries. And with all the work that you've done, karma will be served. You'll get that person that's meant for you. You just have to be sure to pay attention to the red flags and have those boundaries. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you guys. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.